everybody it's Carla at crafting with Carla hey I'm going to show you how to make these feathers these all started out plain old white feathers and I'm going to show you how I did the polka dots how I colored them um, look how cool this looks like doing two colors with the orange and then it's got little gold dots on there and then I have this one right here um, it's not done yet, but you can see I put in glitter, like little dots of glitter. I'm going to show you how I did that real quick. And basically, the couple things that I use, I love this one, things that I use. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. I have some water, ta-da, water, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I have, for the glitter, I have a... Um, deco art glazing medium but you could use any type of glue this is just what I have handy that I put the little tiny dots of glitter on with I have an alcohol metallic alcohol ixne on oop that don't say it that way it's not that it is this Pecaroos copper metallic pigment we're going to try that I have some resinaires mica. I have uh, two colors of blue. I'm not sure how much we'll try. Um, I have some alcohol inks. I have yellow and turquoise. And um, I have some little glitters that we're gonna use when I show you how to do the, the feather things. And I have this neon powder from Let's Resin. It's a red color. Now, this is very difficult to get to mix in. And one of my subscribers, or somebody that watched, I don't know if she's a subscriber, uh, somebody that watched the video left me a message that um, to get these not to be so chunky and pieces and stuff in there, you just mix it with a little bit of alcohol first to make a paste works like a charm thank you i'll have to look up that person and and give them a real shout out i also have some q-tips um i have some brushes that i'm going to be using some little cups and um some extra little pieces of you know puppy pad that i've cut up so that I don't have to make like a huge mess. I am wearing gloves. I am gonna need this. This is a, called a flea comb. Um, this works so well. Got something in it. This is like an amazing thing, first of all, to keep fleas off your animals. But this also works really well to comb out the feathers once they're dry. So you get that little fluffy look we'll go through that i have my metallic markers and i have a bag of feathers <laughs> what did i drop i dropped something i heard it i heard it for sure but i don't know what happened to it i don't even know what it is oh well i dropped my marbles Somebody help me find my marbles. There, I think that's better lighting if it's not staring plain at the white. So I'll keep up here best I can. Go up a little higher, maybe. Okay, so I'll try to stay right here. <laughs> I got this, this little camera right on my head. Okay, not comfortable. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Just pretend like you're on an expensive yacht that just hit a wave. It's better than thinking that you're watching some lunatic on YouTube. Farting around with the camera. Okay, this is super easy to do. We'll just start with typical, we're going to dye something. But I'm going to start with this. This red neon powder by Let's Resin. Now, if you just stick this into resin, this doesn't, it even says on the, the packaging, when you, when you get this, it says, uh, be sure to be, be aware that it's going to um, be difficult to dissolve. So, I don't know, maybe I could do one or two feathers with that. Um, 
the darker you make this, the darker the colors will come out. So I'm just going to put in a oops, squirt, squirt, just a little bit of the alcohol. Give this some stirring up. Yeah, I don't know who told me that because I've had problems with this in the uh, epoxy resin too. Because, you know, you mix it up, you mix, you mix, you mix, and then your piece, especially these, these neon glow in the black light ones, they get like little bumps where they haven't dissolved. Okay, so put a little bit more in there. Very vibrant. All right, this is super easy, y'all. Super, super easy. We'll just start with basic. Let me get like a nice feather here. Here we go. Okay, so it's a little cockeyed, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, let me see how this is doing. I'm gonna brush this on. I'm going to add I have this water. I'm going to add a little bit of water, just a teeny bit, just a teeny, teeny bit, because I want it to brush on, but I want it to, um, for the feathers to dry and be able to be combed out. There we go. That's good. So see, I'm brushing from the middle of the stock out, this will save you a lot of time. First time I did it, I just stuck them in a bowl and smushed them all up in there. And oh mercy, it took me forever to get them to fluff out. Um, oh, and I got these feathers. These are really cheap, but um, they were from Hobby Lobby for like, I think $1.99 for a big old bag of them. Um, So, yeah, so this, so I'm going to just put this on here. There we go. And I will just set that aside to dry off a little bit. Oh, that's this part up here is refusing to take the red. Okay, got it. All right, so now um, that's broken feather. It's a broken feather. It's a broken 3T. So now I'm going to just take this and I'm going to make some multicolored like uh, feathers. <laughs> multicolors. I think they come out really cool when you do the multicolors. So I mean, you can see now from this too, there aren't any little chunky pieces in here. And um, I think I could probably make this go farther, especially if you if you turn this over and you do it like on this side, you would have all of this that got wasted to be able to pick it up on something else. So let me take my little wipe out here. I'll show you a different color now. I just wipe this out. Enough. Doesn't have to be perfection. Ooh, those feathers are very red, aren't they? So I love that red, that neon red. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use um, some of the regular mica. This is Resonators, and this color is the Magic Blue. Is this in focus? <laughs> you all are going stop. Stop her, stop her. She's going on a focus frenzy. We'll be here till tomorrow. No, you won't. She's tired. Who's tired? Okay, I gotta stop mumbling. Okay, I'm just gonna put that much blue in there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I think that the adding the um the alcohol to it actually I'm just gonna drip it in there instead of like blast it in there. Then you did notice the last time I sprayed it in, it went. Poof. That's why I put put it my finger there. This oh, that's pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
and maybe a little bit of water just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I mean, it's just a teeny little bit of water, okay? All right, and wipe off my brush. Okay, and now I'm going to paint. This is going to be, I'm going to do the blue up here. See how easy this is? But now I say that because I've kind of figured it out. Um, I don't know if this is the right way. This is just something that I totally did on my own. I didn't have, um, like, I didn't look at anything and go, how do I do that? I just thought to myself, how will I do it? How will I decorate these? going to put another color on that one so I'm going to let that one be turn it on both sides make sure might have a little bit too much water in this one ah, that's okay so that I just give it a stir all right so I'll do one whole one more of these okay I don't want to spend forever because this is not like rocket science and I do want to show you some others. So I'm just going to do this, this blue, and I'm going to put some um, little pokey dots on this. Well, maybe not. I think I'll just do this one the, uh, entirely. And the blue, just a blue feather. Okay. Then we'll put that one right there to dry. And let me clean this little cup out real quick. What else do we have to do? The alcohol ink. Okay, let's do the alcohol ink. That's easy. You would think. I think it is. Okay, and since I'm going to just go ahead and uh, set that there for a minute and use this one for this these colors, I have yellow alcohol ink. I have a little bit of water in there. I'm going to leave that in there. Isn't that weird? Something might be wrong. Why is it getting all creamy? Maybe because I'm mixing it with water? It's supposed to be yellow. Okay, hold on. I see something here. Of course, I do put uh, mineral salts in my water. So maybe, <laughs> let's see. It doesn't look yellow, it looks brown. Well, let me add some alcohol ink to that. Alcohol spray, not ink. And why not? I'll just, why not just do the whole thing in here? Whatever, whatever. We'll figure it out as we go along. Here's just like a little feather. Wipe off this. And where's that one that needed a little color in the middle? There we go. This one needs some color in the middle. So we'll put the yellow in the middle. Could leave it red, white, and blue, but it's kind of a long time until 4th of July. Yeah, now we got a mixed color. And we're just going to do this one again. We're just brushing away. Trying to be just as you know nice as we can be with it. And this is the alcohol ink. Oops. There is very vibrant color. Very good color. Okay. And I think I'll just put a little bit of this green in this yellow because I got a lot left. And then, whoops, 
Ooh, squirt out the side. That's not good. That's not good. We have another feather. We have a nicer feather. A little tiny one. Okay. I'm just going to put this on here. So this is very easy. And then I'll show you real quick how to um, draw on them with the markers and the glitter. And then that's it. And then I'll show you, you know, when they're dry, like how to comb them. Okay. So see, look how fast this can go. And you're not trying to teach somebody. Okay. So now... I'll show you. I did the metallic. Nope. Let's do the metallic one. Let's just see what happens if if we can get metallic colors onto the feathers. And yeah, let me add this stick. I love these metallic pigments. I think they're so cool. It's like one of my favorite things. Especially these tecaroos, they have a purple and a uh, olive gold. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so let's try these with the. Whoa, look at that! It's a shiny, shiny, shiny. I put quite a bit in there, so I'm going to add quite a bit. Let me get this. Let me stick it in the water real quick. Ooh, look at that. Holy moly. Wow. Gold finger. Oh, I need a good feather, please. For a golden feather. All right. So there's two things you can... Uh, let's see first if this is going to work on here. Oh, cha-cha-cha. Oh, cha-cha-cha. Yeah, yeah. We got gold feathers. Lava martini shaken, not stirred. Coming right up, Mrs. Bond. <laughs> uh, I don't know how this is going to come out because I don't know if this is going to dry clunky. Um, Oh, it's so pretty, though. I really like it. I really, really like it. Okay. It's cold here today. I don't know what you guys are doing. Middle of May, and it's like low 60s again today. Ugh. Which is great for sleeping. It's good sleeping weather. Very good sleeping weather. But it's a little chilly. Okay, that is so cute. Okay, now here's how I'm going to show you. Uh, where's a feather? Okay, like how I do the polka dots, just polka dots. I like to use either a Q-tip like this. And you make sure it's not too... Okay. And you're just going to... Can you guys see what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing? I know it's getting a little um, over cluttered here. But see, you can just do polka dots. I guess, too, you could also paint this little bit of this white stem. Might look a little better. I don't know. Might look a little messier. It's okay. And see, they go through to the other side. How cute is that? I love polka dots. I just love them. I just love them so much. I just want to marry them. So then you can also... Okay, let's see here. Um, you can use, like, the Q-tip works really good. You can also use the, like, a finish brush. See, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. This one already has some silver. 
streaks on it that I put on with my pin. Now I'm going to use the rest of this gold. I'm going to add a little bit more. It's starting to dry. The alcohol ink is evaporating. So I'm just going to add a little bit more so I can get a nice gooey. I, I just want this mixture to be thin enough that they're not going to, all the feathers aren't going to be glued together. And then you can't, you can't brush them apart. They just, they just demolish a new. All right. So now real quick. Almost done, almost, almost. Let's see. Freezing. Oh, put that on there. It looks so cute. I'm going to put some more on the back of this one. Because that looks cute. Oh, it's not working. It doesn't want to stick. Whatever. Whatever. That's the... Uh, got a mind of a thorn. Okay, feather. Oops. Let's get the back of it real well. Okay, now those have to sit, but what I'll show you now is how I, we're done with the colors for now. I showed you the mica, the um, neon, the metallic, the alcohol inks. I want to show you now the uh, drawing. Oops, I should have turned this over. Well, well whatever. Okay, make it some space. Drop those there. They're fine. Just drop them. Um. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Okay. So the glue. We'll do the glue first. Okay. So I'm doing the glue on the feathers that are like nice and have a nice uh, flat end. Oh, these are so pretty, but there's no flat ends coming out right now. Of course, of course not. <laughs> oh, here's a oh, poor little feather. Okay, well, I'll just do it on this one. All right, so like I was said in the beginning that, uh, I wonder if this is dry. The kitty hair. No, this is still good. So this is the Deco Art Americonic Glazing Medium. Uh, like I said before, though, you can use any glue, in, you know, school glue, uh, Maj Paj, whatever. That will stick. Um, this will dry. And so what I'm going to do is just put little drops on this feather. Little dots. Okay, it's very simple. Wherever you put the dot, you're going to pour on the glitter of your choice. And it will stick. Now, I think I'm going to try to do that with this part of the feather, too. See if I can get it to I'm trying to hold the feathers back out of the way so that all the feathers don't get all embedded with it. Okay. Alrighty. So now I need to grab a paper. This will work. I think unless I have any dirty words written on the back of it. <laughs> And I don't. It's a piece of my art and my doodle drawing that I do. <sighs> oh, maybe not a good idea. Nope, 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 because I don't want to turn it upside down on that. Yeah, this will work. My Chinese menu. Oh, I was looking at it and dreaming about having Chinese food. My son was going to take me to dinner tonight for Mother's Day, but I had to cancel. I had a kind of like panic moment about court for my disability trial. Thought it was in the morning. Couldn't get a hold of my lawyer. So I told my son, I'm in full blown panic mode. There's no way I want to go to dinner tonight. 
it's funny because he said, where do you want to go? And I know that they, they would take, he and his wife would take me wherever I wanted to go. I know if I said I really wanted to, they would. You know where I really want to go? Where I just can't barely stand it. I want to go to in and out I want a double, double cheeseburger animal style so bad. Oh, my God. That's what I want. I want a really good hamburger and in and out oh. I don't know if they're all over the country, but my gosh, in and out burgers are so good. Okay, so see? See the little polka dots on there? Isn't that cute? Isn't that just precious? Yeah, so... Hopefully, maybe Saturday we'll go. I've been wanting a burger so bad. But they're like 10 bucks. Um, they're huge and they're fresh. They get their meat fresh every day. And they peel their own potatoes every day to make their fries. They have a very limited menu for those of you that don't have one by you. Very limited, but what they do, they do spectacular. And then animal style is where they cook the meat on the hamburger patty with mustard on the grill. And then they add like grilled onions and Thousand Island sauce, maybe. It's divine. It's de wonderful. It's the best. Okay. So there was the glitter. I showed you the glitter. Now let's do the markers real quick. I want a hamburger so bad. Not tonight. Not tonight, Carla. Uh, okay, so this little feather's broken. I will, I'm going to fix, I'm going to do something to it anyway. So these are the chrome markers. And literally, you can just go bop, 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 just like you did with the leftover, or just like I did. <laughs> I like pretending like we're doing it together. Um, yeah. It's the same as you you do with the the leftover you know inks and stuff. And this one, what I'll do is I'll I'll actually like use that at the end of an earring or something, and see it comes out on both sides. That that feather was kind of bent over there. I missed it. So isn't that cute? Wait, here we go. Here we go. Can you see? How cute that is. Jeez, it's charming, Carla. It's charming. So let's find another one that I can draw on. Because yeah, they need to kind of have this flat thing like, like look how beautiful these feathers are right here. They're just all silky and beautiful. And but there's there's nowhere to draw. I mean you can you can do this. Um you kind of have to hold it down with your fingers, you know. See, you can do this. You can just do a whole entire feather with the gold or the, I don't know what color this is. Is it gold or bronze? Bronze color. I know that um, you can get really pretty white feathers on Amazon. I might get myself some. I got a gift card from my daughter for $50 for Amazon so I can buy some art supplies. I think I messed that piece up. Anyway, haha, -ha, look how cute, both sides. Very, very cute. All right, these are not dry. Um, and then also I have the markers from um, Let's Resin acrylic paint markers. They come in different boxes. These were a gift from Don. Yay, Don. Uh, you can also use the different colors. Let me try to grab another one out of here. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I want this little piece. Because these little pieces look so cute. Like they end it like little earrings or. Okay. Now. I don't know if you can draw on them. I'm not sure if you'd want to. 
but it looks like you can. Kind of look what I can do. Mad TV. Gosh, I still love that show. It's so funny. I think that's one reason my daughter grew up wanting to be a comedian. So we were always watching Mad TV. Well, plus she has a huge propensity for comedy. She's so funny. All right, this is the skinny little side. I don't want the skinny side. I want this side. I want bigger, bigger. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I've shown you what I do with that part. I'm going to go ahead and pause you. Um, when these are dry, I'll come back and I'll show you how I just kind of comb them out. Okay, I'll be back. Brought you back because I want to show you, um, like I just blew out this one feather and it just came out so precious. I'm going to, I'm going to turn on my heat gun, but you can watch this for a few seconds and then I'll go back to doing it by myself. Okay. Okay, well, I, I don't need to kill you with the sound from the dryer. Right here, I am kind of blowing the feathers the same way that I painted them, kind of from the middle out. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I just wanted you to see that. Um, I think you should use a hair dryer with this, though. Even though this is an embossing gun, it's pretty hot. It's melting the plastic on the puppy pad and also you'll see here it's getting ready to kind of chew up um, my little green feather which is so cute so I have to I'm showing you right there I'm showing you right there like look at that the plastic is melting and right now oh there it goes kind of looks like it's fried up okay I think it's getting too hot uh, it's melting the plastic on this, and it kind of monkeyed up with this one. Yeah, it's getting too hot. Okay, I'll take care of that. Okay, I'm going to pause you again, and I'll be back when they're done. So I don't have to hurry through and uh, ruin them. <laughs> Try to hurry. Okay, I'll be back. All right, I have dried out some of them. Um... Let me show you real quick. I've got two more to dry. I'm going to do those with you. This is the gold, the bronze, the powder, the Takaroos copper. <laughs> we will get it right. Silver, blue bananas, copper, metallic, pigment. It stayed up here. Very nice. Very, very nice. But it did not... I, mean, I can use the back of this now. Let me see how I can get it for you to see very well. It's still metallic-y at the top. More so not in the bright light, okay? But the rest of the feathers, they kind of uh, fluffed out. And you lost the metallic, but you still get a cool effect. Really cool. And these, like these... This little thing that I, this little flea comb, I got it at Walmart. It's like $2. This, this is so valuable if you have a, a cat or a dog that you can comb with something this fine. If they'll let you, because it keeps all the little 
uh, please offer your your animals. It is amazing because it takes the eggs. And so um, my Carly, my kitty, Harley, he doesn't have any fleas. And sometimes I'll flea comb him and I'll get like one flea or a couple little eggs. And um, I'm keeping the, I'm breaking the life chain or whatever of them. I don't know how to say it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so this one, see, I dried it a little bit, but what I need to do now is I just stick the little brush in there and I'm not pulling, I'm just wiggling. And if it doesn't want to come out by wiggling, then I take it out because I don't want to like pull out all the, all the little feathers. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, once you've got it combed, all the little knots out, and you can actually gently like comb it. Let's see if we can go this way. No, let's get all the little knots out first. It's almost easier like to bring it up from the bottom. And then real, I'm being super gentle here, bringing it out. So I didn't do anything to this except for you saw, paint it, um, diluted the, you know, the dyes with the water. So we don't want it to be chunky. There, see? Whoops. <laughs> there we go. There, it's just pretty. And it's not even 100% dry, so it will be better even. When it dries more. You see, there's there's the fluffy, fluffy red one. Let's see if I can get this one to come out, right? It's a little bit of powder falling off, but that's okay because look how cute this one came out. The red and the yellow. Came out so cute. And then here's the yellow one and the green one it needs to, it's still not totally dry. So I should put it up here, over here, the red, the pokey dots, the gold, bronze, whatever, copper. Here's the blue with a little bit of glitter on it. Look how cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? And here's the, I made this one the other day. I love this one though. It's got the gold little speckles on it. Here's the one I showed you where I had some silver on it already. We put some more on there. Oh, here's one of the polka dot ones that when I blew it out, um, the, the dots muted, which I think looks really cool. This one looks amazing, amazing. The one with the little heart that I drew on it. Yep. One for like uh, nada, not a whole lot of, I don't know, one that I did the other day that I love. This one was pink and yellow. It was so pretty. And this one, little maroonish, baboonish. I don't know what to say. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. I'm going to move you out of the way. And now I'm going to try to show you how to do one that's totally not dry mostly dry though oh and i would if i were you probably not use the heat gun not even the embossing gun because i almost melted this poor little guy and uh nothing worse than burning smell of chicken feathers burning oh oh no there's a lot worse smells than that but that's pretty bad smell time to cook the chicken feathers All right. Uh, okay. Oh, it's such a pretty color. It's got a little green on it. And um, that's fine. That looks really pretty. See, I'm just... Uh, you'll see if you do this. Now, I tried using a regular old comb, like a barber comb. 
and the, it just didn't really work. Um, these tines are so close that they, they, and I don't know, they just work really well. This works really good. So I will go up a little bit. Up, up, up a little bit. And sometimes if you just take it down, you're going to see where you get all that really soft baby down looking feathers. Just looks so soft. And right there at the end, it's the only place that it's not combed out yet. There we go. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, non-toxic. Uh, yeah, this one got a little bit heated. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined you because you're a pretty color. So, yeah, that was that. That's the way I do it. This is the whole shebang. Um, I don't think there's anything I left out. Sure, there's lots of ways to do it. If you're doing a whole bunch, you just dip them in water, lay them down carefully. Let them, not water, you know what I mean? Like dip them in the color. Um, but I like that you can make the color, colors custom colors. So if you're making wall hangings and you want feathers to hang off of them, now you know you can make matching ones. Because the white feathers are cheap. Um, they have really cool feathers. They like it. Hobby Lobby. I was really surprised how many cool feathers they have. But they're a lot more expensive. Not like insane. This one's not quite dry, but it's pretty good. All right, that's it. That's all she wrote. And that's still a super long video. What the heck? I thought I'll just be so fast. Okay, I love you guys, and I hope that you got something out of this. Um, they're fun, they're fun, they're fun. There's a whole bunch. Look at these feathers everywhere. Pokey dots and multicolors. And, ah, it's just so much fun. Okay. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Be nice to each other, okay? Be nice. Go around and tickle everybody with a feather. Tickle you with a feather. Oh, I feel so cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all right. So here we go. These are the feathers. Ta-da. <laughs> I love you guys. That's it. I hope that, uh, that that satisfied some of you that wanted to see how I did it. And, um, yeah. I really like them. They're really pretty, especially when you can start adding in the little pokey dots and stuff. It just adds a whole different, a uh, whole different look. Do, 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 do. Gives me a lot of ideas to do more, but okay. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Be kind to yourself, to everybody else. Love everybody. And smile. And just be happy. Be happy. It's a choice. Watch funny videos. Watch funny TV. Hang out with people that make you laugh. Watch funny movies. Watch me. <laughs> look, look what I can do. Okay, that's I'm getting out of control. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. I'll see you later. I love you guys very, very much. Yes, I do. Bye. I love you. I'll see you real soon.